Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I am saying this intro for the hundredth time because I cannot get to sim I cannot seem to get my words together. Thank you for clicking on this video. This week we are celebrating International Women in Engineering. I decided to join the campaign where we take pictures as women in engineering holding a card with the theme that says hashtag shape the world. So as I was getting ready to take the picture, I decided to share with you guys the story of how I actually became an engineer because unfortunately I was not one of those people who knew from a young age what they wanted to do. You know, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of crying that went into me actually choosing this career path. So yeah, this is my story on how I am shaping the world in engineering and how I actually got to be a civil and water engineer. whenever I was asked what I wanted to be when I grew up I only said I wanted to be a pilot until I grew up and realized that I was terrified of heights so that dream kind of became uh, redundant and there was no pressure because in primary school all we needed to do was write that composition to get a star from the teacher until I got to my ordinary level which is form 4 and when the career path question was raised i still didn't know what i wanted to do so my reasoning was i will pass all my subjects at o level so that i actually give myself more room for options you know uh so i started hard and i passed all my subjects at ordinary level and when i went to advanced level i continued with that same mentality i was like which combination of subjects will actually give me more room for options as i was trying to research on the career path to take so i decided to do maths physics and chemistry because the one thing that i knew about myself at that particular point was that i enjoyed sciences so i went to my advanced level with my combination and as i was doing it i realized that i absolutely did not like chemistry i hated chemistry the whole um lab code thing and titration and balancing equations i just <laughs> it was too stressful for me but the good thing is i actually love maths and physics and so i began to think of career parts that actually would allow me to use my maths and my physics while steering me away from my chemistry and um advanced level went by when my results came out there was trouble i had passed by the way i passed but i was at crossroads with my dad because he wanted me to do medicine you know for that whole we have a doctor in the family kind of thing but then i knew i absolutely knew that i could not do medicine because i cannot be a doctor because my heart just breaks when i see people suffering and can you imagine walking into the er and the doctor instead of helping you is the one who's busy panicking so uh we fought a lot with my dad i cried a lot but he was not moved with my tears i tried to get my mom to help me convince him that actually i could not do medicine until eventually he was like you know what it's fine you can do whatever it is that you want so i did my research and the field of science that actually picked my interest was the field of engineering and one engineering in particular which is silver and water engineering because i realized that it dealt with the built environment and one thing that i knew at that particular point was that i hated the fact that my home country zimbabwe was plagued with um water shortages and this the roads were filled with potholes the railway network was basically dead at that particular time well actually it still is kind of dead and um just the general built environment of zimbabwe needed resuscitation upon applying at the national university of science and technology i got into the class of civil nature engineering and i was aesthetic you know so that is how i got into varsity studied for engineering and i won't lie there was a particular point when I was in second year, there was this one course in particular, engineering maths, smart 2116. Oh my God. It really had me questioning if I really wanted to do this whole engineering thing because the mathematics of it was, uh, it was, 
complete nightmare but i made it here i am and i believe that i continue to um hashtag shape the world so in this week when you're celebrating women in engineering i'd love to celebrate myself and i'd love to celebrate my friends who are also women in engineering we're all doing our most so i dedicate this video to every woman in engineering every woman in stem and uh every woman in a male dominated industry let's continue to do great and um be pretty while at it you know keep on shaping the world so yeah thank you guys for watching i am really grateful to all of you guys who have actually subscribed if you're watching this and not yet subscribe click that red subscribe button and help me grow my channel because in this channel we are all about self-love self-confidence personal growth and i'll be sharing with you my engineering journey Whew, that was a mouthful <laughs> thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next one